So um, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk to you about is, you know, how do we get there? How do we get to really original lyric and clever ideas and, you know, twists of metaphor and things like this that tend to elude us whenever we sit down and look at a blank piece of paper? Um, one of the challenges as a staff writer is you end up trying to be so prolific that you start a song or two every day, you know, and quickly run out of ideas, I found. Um, so destination writing was really a lifesaver for me because I, I could um, kind of draw stuff out that I didn't know w was going on inside of me. So let me see if you um, can connect with this at all and see how the sensory language is really the, the framework that makes the song work at all. I watch you lean on the coke machine as you pop the top and let the fizz rush out. Sip at a cold sweat slip off the can and drill down the corner of your mouth. Now you don't even see me sitting staring, just drinking in the view. Okay, so those are the verses. They're highly sense-bound, right? Until that last idea, I get all caught up in everything you do. So here's the bridge, and this is a verse-refrain song, right? Where the refrain, the hook is the same each time at the end of the verses. Okay, so the bridge section in songs like these is often not going to be very sensory. It's going to be more big thought ideas, because when we get sensory, we get tiny, right? We're supporting smaller detail. But when we get big thought, we talk about the bigger ideas, the meaning of it all, kind of. So here's the moral of the story. And I lived alone in black and white until the day that you touched me. And I've never been so mystified until the moment you loved me. I can't stop laughing, singing, smiling, and thinking about you. to it. 